But yeah, there's just nothing here on the eighth floor. Hmm. Well, let's go to the ninth floor then. And now. Gotta be careful around here, because there are also traps. And oh, great. Alright. Oh, no. I'm not letting you appear right behind me. Oh, we actually have uh, new enemies here. Yeah, they're called Satan. You know uh, the enemies in a uh, dungeon are hardcore when they're named Satan. Oh, man. And these guys, they do not mess around. Yeah, they, you let them use magic? Guess what? One hit KO on whoever they use it on. So, uh, don't let that happen. I should have equipped uh, Justin's Lorenzo for this. Luckily, um, Rap's weapon actually works really good, the Demon Slayer Boomer thing. Yeah, just be very, very, very careful. Alright. Yeah, they keep charging up something. I don't want that to go off. Whatever whatever they're doing, I don't want it to happen. I just don't. I really, really don't. They need to die. Okay, go wrap. Hit him, hurry. No! Fiend is dead. Oh, she's not. Oh, thank goodness. Well, she will be soon, I can tell you that much, unless we, uh, get these guys. Justin. Kill that. And let's just, let's get rid of this thing. First. There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, yeah, gonna need to, uh, heal a little bit, so hold on. Okay, healed up. Now, you wanna be careful. There's a trap right there. Now, I'm gonna confess I already messed up on this once. You do not wanna fall down there. Okay. Let it go. Run, run, run. Okay. Whew, we gotta be very, very careful with that. Kill these guys. And then here we get... A resurrection potion, which is good because uh, I had to use one earlier, so we get it back. All right, okay, now we have to go back across the trap. Okay, I need to be careful because I messed up on this before. Okay, go. Oh, okay. Whew, got it. Now. Oh, new enemy. What are you? You want those things in the Twin Towers. Now you're just a pilot swap. Naga Queens! Okay, let's see. Let's see, these lightning sword. Anything special about them? Let's see. Don't think so. I think they're just, uh, just want to beat them up. That's the goal. Beat up the Naga Queens. Don't let them do anything. So, Fina. Hmm. Uh, I need to remember to uh, re equip Justin. Oh, they're gonna do something. One of them is Life Drain. Well, it doesn't do that much. Luckily. Yeah, they're pretty defensive. Let's kill this thing. There we go. Attack 
that one. And there, it's almost dead. Let's just pound it to the ground and we should be good. There we go. And we went through all that to get money. That we really probably don't need. Yay! Okay. Got nervous. I thought I was too late for that one. Alright. We're actually getting really dangerously close to the end of this place. Alright. Careful. I was like, wait, is that a big trap right there? Nah, it's just a... Okay. Oh, great. Uh, Satan's and uh, Gaia Brains. <sighs> Actually, there's something I missed. Before I get that money... Let's see. Is this it? I feel like there's something... There it is. Yay, a lot of money. Now let's go back to that other money. We can pick up the money. Okay. Got lots of monies. And now. This path. Go. Okay. And we're back in this room, so it's like a little circle. Isn't that cute? Now. I want to go here. Careful. Oh! No, I'm kidding. We want to do that this time. We end up here. Oh, careful. There's an end. Ah. Ooh, luckily that uh, was not an ambush. Okay. And now... We are here. Oh no, Satan's. Alright, killed them without too much fuss. Oh, but they're... Oh. It's really lucky those things die really easily, otherwise those ambushes would kill me. I really need to be careful. Huh, alright, and here we get... A golden potion. That will be useful. Alright. And now... Go here. And be careful. Watch out. Careful. Oh no. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Anything here? No? Money! That's what's here. And that's all we came this way for, so back we go. Uh, where did I come from? Was it here? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Wait, that's, that is where I came from, isn't it? I am so confused. I'm lost. Oh, I think... Okay, this is where I want to go. Okay, that's where I landed. Back there, so... Unless I'm just getting myself mixed up. My sense of direction is horrible, but no, okay. Enemies haven't killed, so yeah. That was easy. Now, where did I come from? Alright, before stepping on that, I believe, 
Aha. To go through here to get some... Glass slippers. Let's see, do I want to equip that on anyone? Probably can only be equipped by women. Um... Not on you, I like your warp shoes. Um, actually, you know what? You don't need no stinking warp shoes. This'll do. Alright. I, I actually might need warp shoes. I'll save those just in case. We'll see how they work, because uh, she doesn't really attack with her weapon much, so it's not going to be that big of a deal if she doesn't move to the enemy quickly. Oh, come on. Come back over here. I'm going to sneak up behind you, okay? Just like this. Not too shabby. Alright. Now I want to follow along here. We are almost done, I promise, but there are more stuff to get. We want to get all the stuffs. Okay, keep going. Nothing here, all except money! Alright. Now to go back. Let's see. All the way back here. No, wait a minute. Back here. And let's step on that not at all conspicuous black square in the middle. Oh no! Alright, so now... And yeah, we're actually all the way back here. So if you accidentally fall down one of those other trap doors, that's how you get back up here, is by falling down that big black square. Alright. Let's see. Not that way. This way. I don't think I've gone here yet, have I? No. Oh, jeez. Hello there. Um, did you come back? Don't want you sneaking up behind me. Where'd you go? Dang it. I know if I leave it alone. Ah, there. Gotcha. Alright. Careful. Run. Whew. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought. You look suspicious. Get ourselves. A ruination knife. Rafina. See, how's my inventory space still okay I still got some space left that's good let's see should I equip that on her does plus three combo hits but I already get that and that does pl minus 40 defense yeah I, I I'm I'm good with the binding whip because binding whip with while I have the uh, Asura actually wait a minute I actually think, no, she'll be able to hit six times. I push it in th three total, but no, it's plus three. Hmm. But that defense does worry me. Let's tentatively try it out. I'm really worried about that defense, but, um, if she can hit six times, then the la then the, uh, droppage in attack will be made up for in, uh, amount of attacks. All right. Never mind, I'm going to put the Binding Whip back on Fina. That, uh, the attack is so low that it's barely doing anything, and even with the extra attacks added, it's just not, not worth it. Yeah. Did I want to go down here? I actually think I did want to go down here. Alright. 
Yeah. Okay. So we are very close. To yeah, this is where I wanted to fall down. Good, okay. Uh oh. Oh. Come on. Come here. Come here, you. Yeah, killed them. Showed you guys. Okay. And I believe. Uh oh, color scheme changed a little bit. Hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, guess what? Guess what we're going to be facing? And yes, I'm just going to do it right now, get it out of the way. Like I said, I'm completing this today. <sighs> Alright, so. Use your level 1 magic to heal up here if you need to. And if you need to uh, heal during this fight coming up, use items, okay? Luckily I've been able to conserve items pretty well. What the? Ganymede, is that you? Nope, it is. Gargoyle. Yeah, so conserve your moves. Don't, uh, don't... Like, avoid using MP and SP moves, just, uh, the head and the shell both share the same HP, so just, uh, don't worry. Just to tear this thing. Heal when you need to. If you do have a ton of items that can heal MP and SP, then go ahead, yeah, use those moves. I really don't. I don't know what happened, but I just don't have them. But yeah, just attack this guy. Let's see. Um, let's do a really good combo. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, look at that. See? But be careful. Let's see. Why don't you just use a critical? Uh, we'll have a uh, you in charge of lowering the uh, gauge there. Fina too, why not? See, we're already almost more than more than halfway done. That's oh jeez. <laughs> that is the power of grinding. Alright. Let's see you do a critical there. There we go, see? Barely even letting this guy attack. Uh oh. Sped up. Don't do too much damage. Okay. But now the head's going to attack. Ow. Okay, we should still be good. Almost dead. Come on. You can do this. Do it all you got, folks. Yes! So yeah, not too hard, but, um, huh, you think it's over? You think it's over? That's cute. Get a couple new items. Uh, how's my inventory? I might need to get rid of some items. Almost full up. Uh, let's... let's See, I believe we've got a new thing. Um, got a life staff for her, but the spirit staff still seems to be better, so we'll keep that. Items. Let's use an item to heal. Why not? Just one, though. Uh, there we go. 120 HP to entire party. That should be good enough. Alright, so nothing else in this room. So let's head up to what we're facing next. 
once again, use items if you need to heal, conserve your MP and SP for this guy. Or this girl, I should say. Is it the Grin Whale? No, it is the Slugfish. So, the body and the uh, lore have uh, different HP bars. Ignore the body, just attack, uh, or ignore, ignore the lore and just attack the body. Body dies, everything else dies. Alright, um, you can do a critical on that one. Yeah, have, uh, Lieta use criticals on whatever enemy is, like, up first on the little, uh, gauge down the right. I always forget what that's called. But otherwise, focus attacks on the body. Wow, this thing has not that much defense. Ouch. Oh, jeez, he's confused now. Please don't be confused. Actually, we can fix that. Because Liete has her spirit staff. Oh, he's not even confused anymore, is he? Is he? Doesn't look like it. I guess that didn't last too long, did it? Okay. That was lucky. But yeah, you could use the Spirit Staff, which uses Halva, to heal on it. Yeah, the reason these enemy, these bosses aren't all that hard is because it's expecting you to uh, have used up all your like magic and stuff like that, and all your health and everything on the way up here. But, if you play things smart, it should not be a problem. This guy is dead. <laughs> Big win for us. All right. Level up for Liete. Yeah, you think that's it? Not quite yet. Up to the twelfth floor. And let me heal up. And yeah, what's coming up? Not nearly as easy as what we've just faced. So, this time you are going to want to go all out for... The Squid King? No, it's another palette swap. It is... The Leviathan. The one thing disappointing about this dungeon is that they don't have like any original bosses for this. They're all palette swaps of old bosses. Anyway... Now is the time to go all out for everything. Okay, um, Dragon Zap. But that the uh, tentacles have uh, different HP bars than the uh, body, so they can go out. Be quick, let's see. Ne Neo Demon Ball. Try this, Howler. Yeah, let's just destroy this guy. Make sure to be careful. Pay close attention to your HP at all times. Yeah, once our MP and SP is drained, we can just uh, use regular attacks to finish it off. But uh, HP, you need to be careful. So I have all those neat items. Let's, see, let's use a Zap Whip. Uh, on the body. Don't think you can get away. And of course, the coup de gras, the coup de grace. Prepare yourself. This is it. Wah! Oh man, that did so much damage. I'm happy. Ooh, we can get to another Neo Demon Ball. Man, this guy's. Can we take this guy down without it making a move? Let us find out. Took out the tentacles without them doing anything. Let's have you use a Red Shock. 
Actually, is that what I want? Yeah, that is. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, the only physical move that she really has that's worth anything. Nice. Let's see, you can do another zap whip. Don't think you can get away. Oh, this thing's almost dead. And, ooh, luckily, do a Thor cut. This actually might finish it off. Almost. Oh no, don't let it do a move. Don't let it do a move. Um, um. Attack, attack, attack it, attack it. No! Ah, uh, so close. Yeah, look how much damage that just did. Luckily, we aren't letting it attack much. Do you want, I'm just going to do an end of the world. Why the heck not? Oh, I haven't shown this yet, have I? Yeah, baby. <laughs> we did it. We friggin' did it. Oh, I'm so happy. Beat the ultimate super boss of this dungeon. With it only getting to do one move before we destroyed it. So, yeah. That's pretty awesome. So, what was all of this for? Let's find out. Doop -doop -doo. Trust me, it was worth it. Okay, before we go up there, it's actually something over here. Mistaken, unless I'm smoking crack or something. Um, there it is. Okay. Note before picking that up, if oh, I should have probably said this before. You probably already picked it up, but if your inventory is full and there's nothing you want to throw away, don't pick this up because there is actually a stashing place that we're going to hit soon. But I do have a free spot, so we'll pick it up. We get the Sonic Belt. Alright, rolling around at the speed of sound. Sorry. Oh, if you get that reference. So, that's... <laughs> trust me, that's not what we came here for. Well, it's only partly, but... uh. Oh, you, you just wait. You just wait. No, seriously, wait. Patience. Esperate. Okay. Go in the middle here. And... There's a little storage space. So, let's see. How many items do I want to store? Nine items. Okay, that should be good. So, let's start on the outside. First, we get a holy crown. And then, a revival stone. An astral mirror, an ether mirror, a rage ring, and the revival stone, a defense fruit, a 
tiara. And finally... What the heck is this thing called? It is a hurt spike. Okay, let's check these items out. Okay, headband plus 28 defense, plus 15 attack, plus 38 defense, doubles weapon skill experience points, doubles magic skill experience points. Oh man, those are good. So yeah. Whoever that's equipped to, it gets double experience for weapon or magic. That is awesome. Raging restores S few damage. Let's see, defense fruit. View. Tiara plus 35 defense. Prevents damage below 20, which is pretty cool. And the hurt spike. Plus 65 attack. And of course, plus 70 action. Oh man. Let's see, so let's uh, just get things equipped. Why not? Oh, she can't equip the uh, hurt spike. I'm thinking, yeah, you can. <laughs> and let's see. Ooh, yeah, headband for you, definitely. And um, yeah, I want to save those. Let's see for you. Hmm. Let's give you the tiara. Give you the holy crown. And it looks like uh, Lieta just kind of gets screwed. Actually, let's give her the ether mirror. All right. But you know what? Actually, oh, um, I kind of do want to give her the Sonic Belt because she is super, super slow. But I'm not going to worry about that. We're fine. We defeated this dungeon. We will be fine to end game. And that, my friends, is the Tower of Temptation. Ooh, okay. And if we hop onto here, make sure you have everything before you use this portal. Make sure you're done. Because you use it. And you're back here in the savannah. And I'll just make my way out of here off screen. But. Now that we've gotten some awesome equipment, we've defeated the Tower of Temptation, the optional super dungeon of this game. How hard can the rest of the game be? What will we find at J-Base, which we've been putting off for a while? You're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Grandia. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.